for making his decision on restricting my access to my children for 588 days. You can't put, he, there has to be some kind of articulated uh, statement on the record as to why he took my kids from me from the first place. Cause that's, it's illegal to just take my kids. That's what I want. I want whatever documentation. I've given you has. everything that we can give you out of that file. So you're Mr. Miller, I've given you all the petitions. I've given you all the orders. I have, there are I, no findings of fact. There on anything. No so, so on, so on, let me ask you, I don't want, we're not arguing here. I'm just saying. I can't January make up 19th. something in a file for you that you seem to think needs to be there. Okay, so it's so that's perfect for me. Everything that's in that file so, and anything that you have is what so, the all right. car made their determination on based upon your details. So the, there's nothing. There's so there's never been there's never been one to statement. To understand what that means. No, I I don't. I clearly understand what that means. That means that order. means that means you guys have. You, I did. I had my kids don't, kidnapped. Please don't say no, I know. I know. It's not you. It's not you. I know. It's not you. I understand that. And, and you are in a terrible position right now because you understand what's going on as well. You cannot take, I can't just, he couldn't just take your kids and not put in writing what reason he took your kids. It has to be explained to me why my children were taken from me since January 19th. And every time they, they kept saying no contact, no contact, you know, you know, how about Christine Krupa's, Krupa's, um, her, uh, recommendation that's on the record. You know, like all these, right? She just, you know, no, no visitation, supervised visitation, supervised visitation. All that has to be clearly articulated on the record. That's so the, if you want to obtain the transcripts, I've given you the forms to the form that you need to fill out to do that. Well, it's, it's not, it's not, I, I, I can, I'll get the transcripts, but I, I'm not, I'm not concerned with the transcripts. I'm concerned with every time the judge makes an order on, 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 Orders of protection, on an order of protection, that's a very serious thing, especially in family court. Uh, what is it, Article 6, whatever? You just, I mean, we understand. you got to understand my frustration, man. It's been 588 days, and nobody, and you don't have any paperwork. So, so if I asked you right now, why did they take my kids? You don't know. Nobody knows why I took my kids. It's based upon, it would be based upon the petitions that were filed. There was no, there's, well, here's court. the thing. I, that you, you must have. Listen, Mr. Miller. When you fail to appear for a court proceeding, uh, no, listen. What there's, there's. What the car has to I'm, I, him is her petitions and her allegations. I know. I understand Nobody that. I understand that. But, 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 so listen. That's what that's based off of. I understand that. You can based upon the petitions that were filed. There's no petition. There's, no petition. there's no petition for order of protective protection on my yes. children. There's not yes. one. Well, there has to be one. The, if you get the transcripts, you'll see what was said on the record that day, why the, why the court attorney included the children, which I'm, I'd have to look at the I'll family. tell you what she said. I'll tell you what she said. She, said. she, she probably said, listed both they, the children on there. They never, they, they, she said, the children aren't interested at any time with her father and he yells. So, so, so you're saying Christine Krupa made this decision to, to, to restrict my children from me indefinitely because there's no reprieve. There's no, there's no, no, no. Um, uh, avenue for reprieve. So, so this court. Well, listen. Your order of protection isn't an indefinite order. No, no, it's not. But no, no, it's not. But if you, but if you read my my custody order, it says no contact. Other than, other than as agreed upon visitation at Catholic Charities. Well, well, as agreed upon means never, because she'll never agree upon it. And then it says no contact because that you the 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 court orders um the the. Order of protection through family court right now is expired. It expired on the 27th. But if I contact my children now, I will go to jail because it says no contact there. So so what, what's that mean? That my daughter, could do, she's going to turn 13. When she's 17 and a half years old, I'm not allowed to have any contact with her. And the only time I can contact with her is at, uh, fam, is at Catholic Charities who won't provide the service because the court has that information as well. That, that they, they denied it because no abuse and no neglect. I mean, as a, just as a human, Lynn, as a human being, you have to understand how unethical this situation is. Well, your your issue here, Mr. Miller, is that you didn't appear no, and, and, for the trial. No, so no, because no. Mean, if you need to change these orders, you you know you have the right to file a petition. I do, I do, no, I do have the right. But, but what, what I'm telling, what I'm doing, telling you. I
I did that. I did that. I did that. And I was and I did that last week. I was in here last week filing a, a motion of a motion to, or to vacate. I know. I should have never had that. I should have never had that visitation in the first place, is what I'm saying. All right. The, we talked about that a year ago to file a modest because you need to indicate that you were unable to do that visitation. It wasn't a visitation thing. It was a matter of unlawful detention of my children. Well, at that time, you should have filed your, your appeal. Listen, do you, do you understand a year ago, I, do you understand a year ago, I, I had, um, uh, who was it, Skarskowski and, and Grazade, who neither, none of them motioned, none of them motioned for, uh, for any of the, of the, uh, discovery, none of them, uh, there's, what was it, the 26th of January, the 26th of January, uh, Grazade was supposed to have 20 days to put in my proposal, and he didn't do that, Grazade, you know, is there's misconduct just running up and down that place, to this day, it's like, come on. But it's, it's, I thought family court is supposed to be for the best interest of the children, and it has this has done nothing to do with my children. The, I've been aching and in pain, and this is excruciating. People say people that people say that parents alienated from their children experience more grief than losing a child by death. How do you think this this whole situation falling out of my kids? Nobody, not one person has thought of my children. Period. Why couldn't the court say go to CPS? Because CPS would find that there's no abuse and no neglect. And everybody's going to have egg on their face when that happens. If I motion to modify, that means you're, that means the court's decision to make this bullcrap decision take that should not have been put on me. I refuse. I refuse. Let me go back to your request here if you're coming in. So if there's no findings, fact, conclusion laws, if you want to transfer it to the court, and Send you the form if you don't have the I, form. Can, can I, I, have, I have it right here. If you want me to email you what, I, what I'm or requesting, I'll email you right in a second. You can look at it. Did you fill out a request for transcripts? No, no. You can't send me an email. You have to fill out that form. I don't, no. Okay, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying what I'm, what I'm going to motion for today. Service to transcribe those minutes. You have to contact one of those transcription services. And negotiate a price for the transcript, yeah. and then once you do that, you submit that form to me. Tell me which transcription service you selected, and then I send the digital recordings to that transcription service. So you have to fill out that form because that form also ends up going to that transcription service, so they know that you've they can confirm that yes, in fact, you contacted them, and yes, you are going to transcribe the minutes for. They're going to transcribe your minutes. So do that. You wanted the petition for the no contact. You should. We gave you a copy of that petition and the order of protection. There was no other documentation. No evidence was submitted. Whatever that petition was. That's that's the that's, the part, the that's the part. That's so, the part that I was looking finish. for. Let me finish. I'm just going through your list here. All right. So you already have that fi the family offense petition and that order of protection. Um. So then we talked about the. Exhibits. I told you there was no exhibits marked, offered, or received at the trial that day because the order was entered on your default. There was not a trial held that day. And then you say correspondences, so I'm not sure what correspondences you think you don't have out of your file. I, the only correspondence in your file was that correspondence that I can see from Catholic Charities where they said they were unable to do the visitation, which you got a copy of because they CC'd you on that correspondence. Um, and I think that's it off of your list. Yep. So there's really, you know, unless you want me to give you another copy of the order of protection and the family offense petition, I can give that to you again if you want that, if you're coming in. But other than that, I just need that form for transcripts and I'll be, I'll send those right over to the transcription service. You just got to make sure you indicate the specific dates. I do not guess on dates. You tell me the specific well, uh, dates. Uh, here's, here's a question. 
Yeah, yes. I, I got a question about the reunification therapy that is listed everywhere. So you said about the reunification therapy. transcript for that, but there was no um, documentation in there about that being court ordered. There was no information submitted about potential therapists or anything. So if there was any kind of discussion, that he, would have been on the record, even have to he, get the transcript. It. I don't have any documentation in your case file from attorney Starzewski regarding any kind of therapy. Okay. The only documentation that he was filed by him later down the road with those motions to be relieved as counsel. Okay. Okay, so if there was some discussion, it would have been on the record. You can request the transcript and get that information off of there. And if there was something on the record, then, you know. If, if the judge didn't make a decision, then we're going to have to request the transcript, and then you can see what that on the, on the record that day. But we got no other further documentation in your file on that. Yeah, I, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I guess I got to so, do you need me to make you another copy of that family fence petition in the order of protection again? Or? Yeah, yeah, I would love that. All right, so I'll leave that you're coming in today. Yeah, I'll, okay. be, in, I'll be in sometime probably uh, late afternoon. Okay, I'll leave that right at the front counter for you. I'm, yeah, and I, you know, Lynn, I have no animosity towards you. I'm very sorry that this whole situation has gone down. I really am. I, Mr. Miller, I try to help you as best I can, and really my best suggestion to you is if you can file your motions, but why don't you also file a modification petition at the same time? Just do it. It's not going to hurt anything, but file that modification petition, please. Yeah. I really, if you want to do your motions, do your motions. That's great, you know, and then if your motion is denied again, you have your modification petition still yeah. pending. Okay. So you're, do the modification, right. okay? Do both. Yep, I understand. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's get that started for you. All right. Yes, ma'am. I appreciate that. Okay. You have a good day. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.